In this video, you're going to see how to make long and short diagonal supports. These supports are going to help to hold your column up nice and rigid so as you make your roller coaster taller, it won't sway around as the marble rolls down. This is the diagonal support template. This makes two sets of templates, so you're going to want to first thing to do is cut it right down the middle. And then later on, we're going to cut it across here, and it'll make a short template and a long template. Before you cut along this line, you want to score the paper using a magazine and a ruler and a ballpoint pen. Hold the ruler on top of the dotted lines. Push down firmly. Now on my template there's some small folds that don't have these big bold dotted lines. So I've got these four lines here. I've pressed firm enough so I can feel them on the back so they make nice creases. But there's some other lines right here, small thin diagonal lines. And it's down here and on the other side of the paper. You want to do the same thing with those. Use the pen and make your crease lines. So now I've drawn all these little crease lines even across the thin little dotted lines. Now I'm going to separate this, cut along the solid line here, So this would be the short diagonal support, and this one's going to be the long diagonal support. Next thing I'm going to do is on these thick lines, I'm going to go ahead and cut those. They're going to be flaps. And that's all the cutting that needs to be done. The next thing I want to do is fold this into a long rectangular block. So along all my little crease lines, I'm just going to fold it around. And then I'm going to take some tape and attach it so that it makes a long rectangular column. And I'll add a few more pieces of tape to firm it up. So at this point, I've added the tape over here on the sides. And I've got my little flaps that I folded out, kind of pre-folded. This says attached to column, attached to base. So all this piece attached to the base. So I would take a column. And then what's going to happen is this piece says attached to the column folds down, attach to base, and then it would fold like this and tape these flaps, all these flaps down, and that'll help give the column some rigidity. Okay, so I've taped down that long diagonal support, and I've gone ahead and used the short one and made the short diagonal support. It says attach to column, so I'll attach that side to the column, attach to base, that'll go to the base. So the same idea as before. This way they can both fit on the same column. So now I'll form a triangle on the bottom and that'll make it nice and rigid as I make it tall. At this point, on the long diagonal column, I've added the tape to the bottom and over here to the sides to hold it in place. Now I've also gone ahead and made the short diagonal column off that same template. Here it says attach to base. These three pieces kind of fold out and attach to column over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it and it will attach underneath the long supports. Now I can tape all these pieces down and that'll hold this column nice and rigid so as I make it tall it'll be very sturdy.